Hello and welcome to KMVC News. I'm Nick Fields. Missouri Valley College dance alumna Charlique Roll traveled back home to Valley to perform Captured, an evening of dance. KMVC's Anna Babiak shows how dance is not just movement, but can also be a language. Charlique Roll created the show Captured to reflect real problems and internal struggles that both herself and her dancers face every day. Her work has been featured in Chicago, New York, Missouri, and her native home, the Bahamas. So Captured is an evening length performance that a friend of mine, Kimberly Baker, and I created um, just kind of as a result of our own personal journeys and wanting to create a show that gave a narrative of that, but also gave other artists and dancers and outlets to be able to share their own stories and their testimonies and their journeys as they go through life and try to find freedom and healing. Roll also taught master classes, creating new work for repertory dance and ensemble, and hosted a Q&A to explain her journey and to provide advice for students. When you think of, when you strip all of those things away, all those filters and all those like lies and everything, and you realize your authentic self, what healing can come when you realize, like, as you were created, who you are, you're enough. Roll says that this experience gave her new levels of inspiration and that she always sees this campus as her home. Anna Babiak, KMVC News. Currently, Roll serves as the Performing Arts Director at Chicago Tabernacle, where she oversees teams of writers, directors, dancers, and actors. Around 70% of Missouri Valley's student body are athletes, so physical fitness is something the students have to watch and maintain. But while most of the day is spent educating these student athletes, even the MoVal faculty and staff are reaching for their fitness goals as they are trained by the very students they teach. One. Student personal trainers of exercise science get an opportunity to practice for their careers by creating the perfect training plan for their clients. Student Matthew Whitmire talks about how the trainers come up with the perfect plan for their clients. So we sit down, we have a meeting with them, uh, talk about their goals, what they want to accomplish and everything like that, and we'll structure it towards that. Personally, I like doing more um, weight lifting and stuff like that, just to where they learn certain movements and movement patterns because a lot of people are crouched over at their desk and everything like that, so we focus on posture and doing movements correctly and stuff like that. Whitmire also talks about why he enjoys being a part of the program and why he feels it's beneficial for his career goals. It's really fun to actually be doing something that I will be doing later on in the future. Getting that experience, building rapport with clients and everything like that is what I enjoy a lot about it. Professor of Health Sciences John Bartholomew says what the goal outcomes are for the students of the program. So, so they leave with having a client. So they've done work for a semester. So that nervousness you get the first time is kind of over because they've been there, done that. Plus, if they do a good job, they have a reference letter from somebody that's not a teacher, a coach. This is a person they've worked with. So it comes from a different spot, right? Uh, uh, we require them to have a binder with that, so they actually come out with a portfolio as well. Bartholomew says that students training non-athlete clients helps to prepare them for having clients with different backgrounds in the future. At the end of their careers at Missouri Valley, students of the Exercise Science Program are able to take the test to become certified personal trainers. Ghosts, goblins, and a few jokers hit the Marshall Street's Halloween night, trick-or-treating for candy or sweets. The Missouri Valley College men's wrestling team also hit the streets on Halloween night, going around the city to collect cans and box food for students in the Marshall School District that may suffer from food insecurity. KMVC's Scott Beasley reports on the men's wrestling team's trick-or-treating that is nothing but sweet for Marshall. Uh -huh. wrestling, and we're collecting cans for kids for local elementary schools. Uh, would you happen to have any canned goods you'd like to donate? Um, I probably do have some canned goods. You guys want some candy while yes, you're please. here? Yes, please. Yes, please. Missouri Valley College men's wrestling team goes out on Halloween to collect canned foods to help students in poverty at the Northwest Elementary School. It's, it's cool, it's cool because, you know, it's, it's a team bonding thing for one. Two, it's for the community, it's for the, the kids, it's for, you know, everything that we represent when we wrestle and, you know, it's, it's um, it's a cool opportunity as well, you know, it's on Halloween, so you see a bunch of kids in costumes and 
it's, it's almost as if you're trick-or-treating again, but for a better cause. So it's, it's fun. It's a good time. Janine Mako says that the wrestling team has done this for 11 years, and they try to reach 2,000 cans for their overall goal. I had a lot of students that were in poverty here, and I was worried about them. I would talk about how they would go home and wouldn't have things to eat and stuff like that. And when I mentioned it to Coach, which my husband, he started going, that's horrible, what can we do about it? And I was like, I don't know. So he came up with the idea and started to do this can drive. So when the first year, the first couple of years, we just had it for the students in our school. And then as it's grown and we've gotten more and more canned goods, we've now opened up and anyone in our district can send families here to get things to eat. I feel great. I feel I'm fulfilled that knowing these this donation goes to kids in need need food throughout the winter time, so it makes me feel like a better person. The men's wrestling team collected 2,000 cans this year, and they will try to collect even more next year. Scott Beasley, KMVC News. Janine Mockles says she is moving to a different school next, but plans to keep collecting cans during Halloween to help students in poverty that have food insecurity. It was spooky season as pumpkins were carved, costumes were worn, horror films were watched, as treats were passed out. KMVC's Chardonnay Parker reports on how the Student Success Department partner partnered with a few students to get the Valley students into the Halloween spirit. The third annual Haunted House event took place for the Missouri Valley students to get into the spooky spirit. The Haunted House was hosted at the Blaster Dormitory, where the Student Success Center worked in partner with students from the Blaster Building. The event was entirely performed by Missouri Valley College students. The Blaster Program students have been the main ones helping me put it together. I've had a little bit of outside help from other students, but mainly it's made up of Blaster boys helping me put it all together. So they will actually be in the Haunted House and be the ones scaring everybody that comes through. So they're very excited to scare people. I've been doing a lot of planning and decorating the Haunted House, so we're really excited for everybody to come out and have a good time. Creating like the atmosphere and creating like spooky stuff around the place and uh, getting the costumes together and stuff like that. The Student Affairs Office and Student Success Center said they deemed the event a success based off of student feedback and of course the loud school. Morales says that as long as she's at Missouri Valley College, so will the Honey House. Chardonnay Parker, KMVC. Many students who attended the event said the event was fun and it was interesting to see how they changed Blosser into a fun, spooky place for the night. Halloween is not only for kids. Adults can enjoy it as well. KMVC's Ria Sakamoto reports how Missouri Valley College's faculty was also getting to the Halloween spirit. <laughs> Halloween is one of the biggest events in the United States. Visiting haunted attractions, watching horror films, and dressing up and trick-or-treating door-to-door is still the way to celebrate the event. Some of the Missouri Valley College students celebrated Halloween this year, but it is not only for students, but also for faculty. I love dressing up for Halloween. I think Halloween's the best holiday because you get to, to be something new and unique every single time. And actually, it came about because I liked the makeup, so one of my students was going to do my makeup. And then I just kind of put the costume together at home. I found the gloves, found the black, and found the boots, and it just all came together. Bergman said she gives an extra credit to her students if they dress up for Halloween, and 10 of her students dressed up this year. She has some reasons why she likes Halloween. Dressing up is super fun, but honestly, the best part is seeing all the kids in costumes and giving them candy. Last night, we did trunk or treat, and we've done the trick-or-treat on the square and when the kids know that you know who they are they get so excited so it's just fun for them to dress up and to get to see them dressed up wearing costumes and trick-or-treating are the most popular american halloween traditions the relationship between students and faculty in middle Bar college shows anyone can enjoy the event ria sakamoto kmvc news bergman says she dresses up every year and also enjoys it with her own son the Missouri Valley College Alpha Chi celebrated its seventh year of inducting students with a 4.0 grade point average into the National College Honor Society at Missouri Valley College. KMVC's Scott Beasley reports on the new students inducted into the Alpha Chi chapter at Missouri Valley College. Uh, a student must rank in the top 10% of his or her class 
and be a junior or a senior. Missouri Valley College Alpha Chi inducted new students to be a part of the National College Honor Society. Class of students we've inducted, so six, six full years, this is the beginning of the seventh year. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to do uh, during the year. Uh, a lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of them are students that I've had. Um, and uh, you develop a, a sense of affection and connection with your students and it's, you know, you feel the same kind of pride that you might feel, well, a similar sort of pride that you might feel for your own child, you know. Bonnie Humphrey says and that she is proud of the students that made it into the Alpha Chi and if you focus on your academics, it will serve you for the rest of your life. Alpha Chi has been a great addition to our campus. Uh, we have always had very talented academic students, but we've, until the last few years, have not had a good way to recognize them. So anytime we have a group that goes into Alpha Chi, it's a great thing for Missouri Valley, it's a great thing for the students, and it follows them. You know, they'll always be a member of Alpha Chi. Being the top 10% of each class, uh, I feel like I definitely had to put in a lot of hard work. Um, it's very important for me to have a 4.0 GPA. Uh, last year, second semester, I definitely struggled, but being able to pull up my grades and uh, coming from my first, first year of college, not being too great, I feel really proud of how much work I put into having a good GPA and uh, being recognized. It. The students inducted to the Alpha Chi chapter will have this on their college resumes for the rest of their lives. Scott Beasley, KMBC News. The Missouri Sigma chapter of Alpha Chi at Missouri Valley has earned star status for its scholarly activities four years running. Missouri Sigma chapter sponsor Christopher Libby says the announcement as a star chapter for a fifth consecutive year could come soon. The regular season for the Missouri Valley soccer teams concluded with Senior Day games on October 30th against William Penn. KNBC's Alonzo Williams reports on the doubleheader finale to the regular season that's sending the Vikings on their way to the postseason. Emily, when you're ready. The Missouri Valley men and women's soccer team had back-to-back -back Senior Day games to remember, whether it was the tough wins against the Statesmen or whether it was the weather. In our first matchup of the day, the women finished on top with the final score of four to one. So it took us a bit, but we are finally finding our chemistry. We have so much talent. And I think that once we uh, figure out like our rhythm, we'll be able to do some really great things in the postseason. The men concluded the women's game. William Penn's men's soccer is ranked number 10 in the nation. However, Missouri Valley's men were more than ready to go and came on top with the final score of 3-1. to one. Uh, <clears throat> I feel we did really well in you night. Everyone performed like we should have been performing all year. Uh, the team finally came together and we finally performed like the champions that we are. However, during the season we haven't been performing that way, so we just need to pick it up for postseason. Postseason, like, if we lose now, we'll technically be out because we didn't win the conference. The conference in general will see a meeting. Therefore, I think it's a... Uh, Postseason will be very nervous, everyone's going to be very nervous, but at the same time it will be very interesting. Both Missouri Valley teams weathered the storm to get big wins on their senior day. Alonzo Williams, KMVC News. Both teams are on the road for postseason play. The men are facing Baker University November 8th at 7, and the women are going against Evangel University on November 9th at 2. The Missouri Valley College men's wrestling team is working to get its season off to a good start. And the first order of business is to figure out who is going to be varsity. KMVC's Erica Moreno reports on the showcase that puts Viking against Viking to start the season. This past Wednesday, the Missouri Valley men's wrestling team had their annual purple and orange duel. Mike Mockolds is the head men's wrestling coach. He says that this duel allows the opportunity to wrestle out in the light with fans in a different atmosphere versus if it were inside the wrestling room. However, Mockold says that this is not a final ranking of who is on varsity. I really like what, what we saw tonight from whether it's the older guys or the, or the younger, they just wrestled pretty well. We need to work on conditioning, um, but some of that is probably a little more mental than, than physical. Derek Bonsack is one of the assistant coaches for the team. Bonsack says that they still have to work on cardio and get the new collegiate athletes accustomed to the new rules. Uh, tonight was really good. Um, a lot of young guys getting time in the lineup, getting to see what we have in the in the in the, in the barn. Um, got a lot of guys out right now, sick and injuries. A lot of the older guys are returners, but it's always good to get the younger guys in the lineup. 
the team has to work on little details. However, it is normal to make these mistakes, especially this early in the season. Erica Moreno, KMVC News. The team's first tournament was November 2nd at Central Methodist University. Six of the wrestlers advanced to the championship round, and Elias Vioifi won an individual championship at 165 pounds, and Joshua Isaac won at 285 pounds. The Missouri Valley College Black Student Union kicks off Halloween night with a comedy show that gives students a chance to showcase their talents. KMBC's Crystal Adams reports on the TV-inspired night of Tricks and Treats on a night known for Tricks and Treats. Music, snacks, and laughter. BSU hosted an event called Wildin' Out where two teams go head-to-head -head in competing to tell the best jokes through a series of games. They can and presents Wildin' Out, which um, comes on MTV. And everyone is familiar with the show, so we like to re recreate it every year and everybody just do their own jokes and there and have fun. Rules to the game is when a joke is funny, it gets a ding. When it is not, it gets a buzzer. The team with the most points by the end of the game wins that round. The team who wins the most rounds wins the whole game. What inspired the BSU Presents Well and Out is for a way for us kids and the people on campus to express their creativity and their talent and to bring it all together. There are also Wild and Out girls who pass the food and drinks out to tables and are sometimes used as an extra in the games. An event with so many moving components takes time to prepare. Um, around three months, you have to reserve the area space, uh, provide a budget, go through accounting, marketing, um, but all in all, three, three months. The event had a good turnout and people were able to sit back, laugh, and enjoy the show. Crystal Adams, KMBC News. Halloween Eve brought more to the Missouri Valley campus than final costume preps and party planning. It brought a little less than an inch of snow. For some of Missouri Valley students, it was the first experience with snow, while some others were recalling last year's Thanksgiving Sunday snowfall that had some Vikings scrambling to get back to campus. This year's snow forced the soccer games against William Penn to be moved earlier in the day. Warmer temperatures prevailed on Halloween and November 1st, and by the weekend, the snow was gone. And that's KMVC News for this week. Thanks for watching. I'm Nick Fields.